What's up, guys? Down to Draper here, and I'm gonna bring you a commentary live on the 1.8.2 update. I've done many videos about this so far, and it's a lot of hype compared to it, even though we all know exactly what's gonna be in the game and how it's gonna look. But we, but we all really want this to be an Xbox, most of us at least. PC gamers are just like, ah, oh, screw it, they don't need it, they don't need it at all. You know, they can be left out for their lives. And really i i'm i'm still mad at my at mojang people aren't anymore but i'm still mad at mojang for making such a delay because 1.8.2 was basically the update that made minecraft minecraft creative mode and everything like that and such so so why do i wouldn't understand why they would make that why they would wait so long almost like 6 months after the game came out to to, to post it and release it it just doesn't seem like a smart idea on their part so so I, I was just wondering, well, what do you guys comment? Do you, do you guys still hate the game? Do you guys still love the game? Uh, post in the comment box below, and I will uh, hopefully respond saying this, this, and that. And, you know, everything like that. But I I, I love Minecraft. See, obviously, my freaking world is humongous. It just... I mean, my, the world is humongous. My creations inside of the world are even larger. They're, they're just freaking big. And it takes a lot of time. I'm not like one of those people who spend their life on this game, I, I really have other things to do, but but I do spend a, a considerable amount of time acknowledging the fact that I have school and everything else like that. So it's it's almost like a part of a society today and stuff like that, and you know the whole the whole shebang. But it doesn't that doesn't ex that doesn't make up for the fact that Mojang really dropped the friggin' ball on this. They really just started. They they really just gave us a lot of hope, and then slapped us in the face with all our hope, and that sort of sucked. I mean, there should be some sort of, they, they, they should have some sort of creative mode from the beginning of the game. There is no reason why they shouldn't. And honestly, I I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense. Creative mode is like the mode that made Minecraft once again. It's the mode that everyone likes in Minecraft. Oh, let's play creative mode. Oh, let's make a boat. Let's let's make a let's make a recreation of Mario. You can't do that in in regular mode because one, I'm struggling for wool now. Right now, I'm, I'm like literally, I'm I'm I have no wool left, and and two, it just doesn't it doesn't make sense. It is like oh, there's infinite amount of resources in your other world. Well, let's just do that. No, I want to have the 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 happiness of doing it all by myself. So it it it's almost like people really want this, but Mojang's sort of keeping it away. We're like the kid that never gets what they want. And, oh, this looks nice. I made a nice thing here. Look how it's going to look, guys. I want you guys to see this. I'm going to put my dirt right here. Diamonds. Put my dirt right here. Oh, and um, what I wanted to talk about in the in the update, which really caught my attention, and I don't think, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in PC, but I'm not, I, don't, I haven't really seen it that much, is, is the fact that really you can, you can, uh, you're, as the host, you can limit people's, People, the things that people do in the world. Now, I'm pretty much sure this happens in on PC, but in Xbox, I've had a lot of trouble with it for a while now. People have been destroying, wreaking havoc, and m m foremost, burning the hell out of my world. I mean, it's it, it was just bad. Someone burnt down these twin towers right over here, and it's made out of wood, so it burned really fucking fast. And then I'm like, you just burnt down the Twin Towers to the person who did it. And they're like, I don't care. I'm okay to. And I'm just like, well, I'm that special ops team. Kill you. And and I, I banned them from the world. But the fact is, is that the, the tower was done. The damage was done. And I auto-saved by accident. So, without all that insanity happening. And without trolling or people being just just douchebags because people are naturally that it, you're, you're gonna be like an idiot to some people even if you're the most calm sort of person there's one day where you just feel horrible and you want to make others feel horrible because you feel horrible there's always that one day people are like freaking insane so so it would be smart that people that they, ha they have some limitations to the game they have some sort of way to say listen we know what you're gonna do we're not allowing it now get the hell out of my world, or just look, be, be a nice person and look, and so I'll, I'll detail what the admins can do, admins, or host, I like to say admins because it sounds better, host sounds like, 
oh, you're a host to our party. No, it's a fucking video game. You have a 21st century. So, the host can't, no, damn it, the admin can take away privileges to break stuff in the world. You can't interact with things in the world. You can't break this. Let's say you can't break a light. You can't place anything down. You can't place a block of dirt. Because, you know, someone could just mess up the world and be like, oh, I like this. Ah, oh, I just fucked up my world. So, people, you can't do that anymore. No, no more, no more breaking people's things because no one likes that. And then, the host can, I'm, I've, I've heard speculation that the host could fly, but I'm pretty sure that's almost always for creative mode. Because if the host could fly, which is sort of ruin the whole Minecraft experience on the regular version, I mean... I, I maybe it's only in peaceful because in, on hard mode I'm like oh my god I'm getting killed and you just like I'm gonna fly the fuck away what what and then then you fly the then you fly away uh, that's that's the moral of the story if you have flight you'll never die I need to feed my dogs they're all moaning and shit because they someone hit them um yeah and also I would I, I know in PC versions you can you can tame an us a lot I'm not really sure if you can do that there. And um, I, I know the 1.8.2 is coming up, but I'm really looking forward to 1.2, which is probably going to come in like nine years, given the fact that, you know, they're really, really slow with the crap that's that's happening. But not nine fucking years. Well, what if? What will Minecraft be like in nine years, though? Minecraft 3, 1.8.4, or something like that. But I like the 1.8.2 updated a, a lot, but... I would, I'm really looking forward to the 1.2 update, because, one, it allows villages and mobs, not villages that you create, but villages that, that just appear and NPCs go on them, so you can, you could trade with the NPCs, you can be like, oh, this, this, and this, and this, and the NPCs are like, yay, and they make babies, and then you could kill their kids, and then they plot a revenge course for you, and then... They kill your family, then they burn down your house, then you burn down your house, then everyone dies in the end. That's the moral of the story. So, less pessimistic and more optimistic, possibly. So, and also you can tame an ocelot, which is pretty freaking cool. And if you tame an ocelot, it becomes a freaking cat. It's like, you could tame an, uh, a dragon thing, and then it becomes a cat. So, there's that. And that's, that, that, that rhymed. I'm, I'm a douchebag. Um, for the for the most part, I like I, I want to have a cat in Minecraft. It, it probably serves no plausible purpose, but it would be fun to, to have. I mean, um, PC version just so ahead of us. I feel I feel like I got like you know, NBA 2K 13s out. I feel like I got NBA 2K 11 be, because of because of this. I I feel I people are people are forgetting this. They're just like, oh, this this and this. I it doesn't matter. Oh god damn it! Um, no, don't, don't stop. Okay, um, don't. There we go. Okay. What the hell? Oh, oh, uh, I think I'm done. Correct. I gotta. Are you kidding me? Are Are you kidding me? Okay. There we go. Ah. Uh, re really. Really amazing, amazing world right here. You're. If I step on them, they die. Oh, if I step on them, they die. How cute. Just killed shit. Oh, my God. Okay, are you... Great, okay. That was... That was horrible. That was pathetic, and I feel bad for... Why are you here? Get, you're not even my dog. So... So, really, um, that's all I have to say about the 1.0.2 update. I hope you guys like, subscribe, and rate. Um, I'm actually just gonna show you guys around a little bit. If you want to leave, leave. I don't really give a shit. Just like, subscribe, and write my video because, or or just you know what? If you, I, I always say this: if you hate it, then dislike it. I'm not forcing you to press the like button. I never will, because then it just wouldn't be YouTube. You're allowed to create, share, and shit. But 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 really, if you if you really like the video and and you're just like, oh, I want more views on my channel. Why am I not getting views? And then you click dislike because you know you're not getting views or you just have a bad day, or maybe like your whole family died and I'm the reason of that. And and you click this like because of that. That's that's not a good reason right there. So you should you should you shouldn't do that. Like, subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks. This has been the Hundred Reaper.